It's Catherine from registerednursing.org and today I'd like to talk to you about donning, which is putting on and doffing, taking off um, our personal protective equipment. And I know that in this day and age there's a lot of videos out there that are fabulous for the proper way to don and doff our PPE. But there's very few videos out there right now that talk about donning and doffing our reusable PPE. I will tell you that in my 30 years of being a registered nurse, I've never experienced anything like what we're going through right now with this pandemic and the need to reuse our PPE. The fact is, is um, we have to be good stewards of our personal protective equipment because we just don't know when the next supply is going to come in. Um, I know at my organization we work very hard to make sure that the staff have what they need, but then also making sure that we are uh, reusing what we can reuse. All right, so first thing, let me just go over some of the equipment. Let me talk to you first about our self-inoculation appendages, our hands, right? So our hands are the biggest transmitter of fomites or germs. So it's really essential that we um, perform hand hygiene frequently. And this is nothing new. In healthcare, we've been talking about this for years. We've been talking about um, covering our coughs and coughing into our elbow, uh, washing our hands frequently for years and years, and now finally the world is listening. So um, make sure that you are washing your hands frequently and for demonstration purposes for donning and doffing today, I'm not going to be putting on and taking off gloves, but I will be doing um, hand hygiene in between the steps. So um, let's talk about now are the difference between the two masks. So one is a surgical mask. Um, it's also referred to as a disposable mask, but in this day and age, I'm no longer referring to it as a disposable mask. This is a surgical mask. Um, this is an N95 respirator. It, it um, protects us against 95% uh, of small particles that we come in contact with. Uh, so this is an N95 respirator. This is a surgical mask. This mask, the surgical masks, is about um, protecting others from, from myself. So if I'm coughing, if I'm sick, if I'm doing a procedure and I'm over a surgical field, I'm going to be wearing the surgical mask because I want to protect my field or others from my own germs and, and respirations. Uh, the N95 respirator is I'm protecting myself from others. So if I'm coming in contact with somebody who uh, possibly has COVID-19 or tuberculosis or something like that, then the N95 respirator is the most appropriate um, PPE to, to use at that time, okay? Let's talk quickly about these lovely and fancy cloth masks that so many people are coming out with nowadays. Um, these are, there are no studies that show how effective these masks are, either with a filter without a filter. Um, some studies are starting to come out, but studies take years. And so where we are right now is um, this is a level of a barrier. Um, the protection it provides is still up for debate. Um, in my facility, what many people are doing are using these to cover their N95 respirator to prolong its use. Um, so there you go. It's some level of barrier, but it is not as safe, of course, as our surgical mask. This has a little bit more protection and filtering because of the cloth or the paper design, and certainly not close to what an N95 respirator would, would bring you as far as protection goes. So there we have it. Those are our um, different face barriers. And the um, paper bags, I, I refer to these as my HTPPESU, the high-tech PPE storage unit, a brown paper bag. 
Um, we are learning that the germs or fomites of COVID-19 do live on soft surfaces for two to three hours. And so if we store our items in a clean paper bag for at least that long, ideally when we reuse them, it's, um, the virus has already been inoculated at that point. So there we have it. Um, so we're going to start with donning our PPE, and I'm going to start by putting up my hair, right? And for this demonstration, I will not be wearing a um, head bonnet, but that is something that many practices do incorporate. So I have, first of all, I'm going to use hand sanitizer and clean my hands. And some people can uh, prefer to use gloves as they handle their used PPE. Um, for me, gloves are also in our facility becoming a, a shortage, so I'm going to use hand sanitizer as I go. So my gown has been stored in the HT PPU, <laughs> PPE SU. So I'm unraveling it keeping it away from me as I put it on, right? My hands are clean. This gown has been used, but it's not visibly soiled, and it is not, um, I was not in contact with a patient who was suspected, but I was in contact with the general public while I was doing the screening. So I'm reusing my gown. Uh, this is a launderable gown, which is fabulous if you can, if your facility has those. And so my launderable gown, I can reuse as long as it's not visibly soiled. Um, again, I've handled my gown, so I'm gonna do hand sanitizer again. And now I am ready to put on my used N95 mask. So again, it's been in my, it's been in my bag, my storage bag. And so by the magic of video, right? I'm pulling it out by the strings, and this is my one that I've been using the last several days. So I'm handling by the strings, my hands are clean, and I'm trying not to touch um, the outside or the inside. So I'm just going to take my thumb along the base, and I'm going to put it under my chin, up and around both straps. One strap goes low, one strap goes high, and so you can see there. And then with my clean hands, I'm pressing down, getting my good seal, doing my seal check, making sure that everything is fitting well, and so I'm good to go. Now, again, since I've handled this mask, a little bit of hand sanitizer, just a dab will do you, a nickel size, you don't need three, four pumps, you don't need to soak everything, you just need to, to get all of your all of your hands, okay, and then at this point is where I would put on my goggles, which I forgot at work today, <laughs> so I don't have them for this demonstration, but I put my goggles on, and then I'm, I'm ready, after I put my gloves on, then I'm ready to go. So in taking off and, and doffing my PPE, I would do the reverse. So hand sanitizer, keeping my hands clean, um, I've taken off my gloves, I'm cleaning my hands. Some people will put on two or three pairs of gloves to do the doffing. Um, if your facility can support that, then that's fine. But for me, I use um, hand sanitizer. Okay, and I'm gonna take off my goggles, set them down on the counter, and then now I'm going to remove my N95 respirator. I'm starting with the bottom strap, and as I get it up about here, I like to hold the bottom because I don't like it flinging all around. And again, I'm leaning kind of out and up, and then I am pulling this down, and it is ready to go into my paper bag. Some facilities will provide a clean paper bag each time. Um, some facilities are only doing one paper bag per issued respirator. Uh, different thoughts on that, but honestly, everybody's doing the best they can. And so now I've gotten my goggles off, I've gotten my mask off and put back in my bag. 
and I've done hand sanitizer. Now I'm going to take off my gown so that I can reuse it. And typically, we would start at the shoulders and we'd pull down and we'd roll it, right? Well, we're reusing this gown. And it's basically a, a minimally exposed gown. And so I'm actually going to start at the sleeves and work my way down. Again, holding it away from you and into itself. And then I can kind of shake it and then I can roll it like so to put back in my bag. Now, if you're able in your area to hang your PPE, that is just as good. That would be up to your facility. But um, hanging your PPE or putting it into the paper bag, um, the CDC recommends both methods. So uh, there you go. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, hang in there, we'll get through this together. And um, it's been a wild ride, but here at Registered Nursing, we're registerednursing.org. We are working to provide you all of the best information. And uh, please let us know if you have any questions or concerns or any other topics that you would like to hear from us about. All right, take care. Thank you.